I'm going to introduce you to Cody Wilson. He has been called one of the most dangerous men on earth, and he is the founder of Defense Distributed, the nonprofit group that launched the Wiki Weapon Project initiative to raise $20,000 to design and release a plastic gun that anyone can print from their own computer. It would be distributed for free. It would allow anyone who wanted a gun to get one just by hitting print. I will tell you that um, I said uh, last week that we are going to come to a place where people are going to print guns. And the people on my own staff said, nah, not going to do that. Really? Here they are, all printed by a 3D printer and the magazines. How are you, sir? I'm doing well. Thank you for having me. Um, you can't print the whole gun because it's illegal. That's right. That's right. It's, it's actually legal in two different ways under Title 18 to make undetectable firearms or weapons that would not be regulated by Title I. Okay. But you can actually, you could fire this. I have fired that. You have fired That's that. right, yeah. Okay. And I've fired all these pieces as well. Um, and uh, you made all of this yourself? or The, just, the trigger just group this? is a standard trigger group we mm -hmm. fit in just to show that our, our pieces were right, our measurements were right. The, the white piece is the printed piece. Now, here's what, I mean, this, this um, is both uh, exciting and uh, frightening because every dynamic on planet Earth changes. You know, the, it's, um, it's frightening because uh, Occupy Wall Street take over the world. <laughs> um, it's wonderful because the Holocaust wouldn't have happened. I mean, it just depends on how you decide to use them, which is meaning there's, we have to be in control of ourselves because if they try to, and they will, they've stopped you from making a gun, they, right? You're not going to make the whole gun. I've been disciplined from, from not making it, but I'm going to make it. You know, it's just a matter of following their law. Okay. So you'll, but you'll do it the right way. Is there any doubt in your mind that those who are nefarious, who have the same, you'll make anything. Why? Why go buy and smuggle your guns well, through Eric Holder when you can just print them? <laughs> well, if, if Eric Holder is giving away M16s for free, I'll take his M16. <laughs> right. <laughs> but right, this, this does add some, some questions and some complexity to things. Undetectable firearms, unknown firearms in commerce, assembled out of parts that aren't registered. There are new dimensions, new folds, new moral problems. Okay. Um, any way to put the genie back in the bottle? No. I'll, I'll show you. This magazine, for example, right, was just one file two days ago, now it's been downloaded over 50,000 times. You know, the internet has it. Uh, and as long as these machines keep getting better, this is no longer bannable in some traditional sense, in some progressive sense of controlling So in other words, you, I mean, they can ban it um, uh, all they want, but somebody is just going to print it. And this was all just printed on a 3D printer. That's right, an SLA from the 90s. It's an old, old technology was used to create that. You know, I don't you know, have access to The first time I ever saw this, stuff. I was in, um, I was in uh, Jay Leno's garage. Oh, yeah. And he had a Stanley steamer, and he said, do you know what it's like to get a cog for a Stanley steamer? And I said, no. And he said, until this machine, yeah. you couldn't get it. And he showed me, and it was, it was as big as a huge refrigerator. And um, he said, you know, just put the broken piece in there, and it scans it, and then it just makes it. That's right. It's, and I thought that was amazing. And I, I own that one. The I mean, and that's, and that's a, like a little, you know, that's just like a little one that, you, that yeah. is $2,000. That, these replicators, to make this, how much does it, how much would the replicator cost? Oh, a replicator making that? Yeah. We haven't, we haven't made one on a replicator, but the volume under 50 How did you make this? Under $50. A, in, in a, in a, a 3D printer? Yeah, we made it in a, an SLA 3D printer, which uses a little bit different technology. Which so is what? Th this was made with a laser and a, okay. a UV resin. And that's what, yeah, that's when they come together, when the lasers hit? It yeah, more or less. Of? There's two different technologies, not to get too complicated, but it, it cures a resin, and the resin hardens very quickly. And, um, you know, you've done it in about nine hours. And how much did it cost you? Uh, about $100 in materials. And how much does the actual printer or the, the machine cost you? Mul you know, multiple thousands of dollars, but... You know, demand will drive prices down. It's just a matter of time and what, what technology the market prefers. What is the thing that, um, do you have any concerns at all about this technology? Well, we're, we're doing this project and using this technology as a form of resistance. So it's just a critical use of the technology. Of course, we have concerns at the end of the day, right? But we see liberty under threat. We see sovereignty under threat. Uh, we must respond. So they try to take this 
they can't take this away because everything, it, it, the technology is out and everything is being mapped. And all, all, you just really do, it was shocking to me, all you really do is hit print. <laughs> That's right. You download it and you hit print. One of, this is an alternative way of manufacturing things and it really takes out almost all expert required knowledge. Um, the, the model is already in software, you can download it. If you have a machine, you just tell the machine to make it, then you have it. It's that simple. Okay, so, uh, America, here's your um, decision point. Um, your decision point is um, is this guy a hero or a villain? That's a good question. What do you think you are? I don't like the dichotomy, right? Who, un, you know, in whose conception, under what paradigm, you know? I'm just resisting. What am I resisting? I don't know, the collectivization of manufacture, the institutionalization of the human psyche, I'm not sure. But I can tell you one thing, this is a symbol of reversibility. They can never eradicate the gun from the earth. I'm big into whys. Um, I know why I do everything. Yeah. Um, and you, that's where we connect, is on why. So I don't think I buy your BS on what you just said to me on why. Well, I'm this or I'm that, I don't know. Yes, you do. Why do you do it? I do it because I decided process isn't the way to preserve liberty. I don't believe in what Romney. What does that mean? I don't believe in Romney versus Obama. You know, I believe in real politics. That's a real political act, giving you a magazine, telling you that that will never be taken away. That wasn't true maybe two weeks ago. Now it's a fact of life. It's a fact of history. You know, that's real politics. That's radical equality. That's what I believe in. Are you concerned at all? See, this is, these are the debates we're going to have, America. Um, are you concerned at all about uh, things like, and, and the gun is, is and somewhat different because this is the, is the great equalizer, if you will. Um, you know, the, whoever had the gun manufacturers, whoever controls the gun manufacturers would win until this. Mm. Okay. Um, however, just like the music industry and the movie industry, if you can copy things, then somebody who designed this, somebody who spent money and time and effort to design it, you're taking it from them. Mm -hmm. What happens to the patent? Is that... I designed that. That was my property and I gave it away, if we accept that conception of things. So, you know, you're welcome, but... <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You didn't... Because you didn't. Somebody else designed... The magazine is our design. It's your design. Defense Distributed's design. Okay. Our proprietary design. This was an old, you know, the, the AR lower design has been out in the wild for years. It's a mil-spec kind of design. It's not any one person's, although Eugene Stoner is celebrated. Okay, so as would, you, uh, would you agree that patents are important or not? Oh, okay, down the road. Yeah, yeah. intellectual property is an interesting debate, and I fall on both sides of it, so I see an interest in preserving a legal monopoly sometimes for it's people to... It's what made America, America. It, it makes some sense. And at the same time, I'm, I'm partial to the debate of, of kind of the, uh, the anarchist left, which is that really these state monopolies allow undue profits. Okay. So are you an anarchist? I guess in a functional sense, sure. But perhaps like a principled one. I don't know what that means. Well, there's a guy named Michel Foucault, and I'd recommend that you read him sometime. Really, I see the battle as one of just trying to remain human and against you know, massive forces, anonymous forces of discipline and control that we can't really understand. I don't think there's a, a massive conspiracy, but, but I do think the self un is under siege and I think liberty itself is under siege, human liberty, human spontaneity, the, the freedom to do things. I would agree with you, but if it devolves into either chaos or totalitarianism, mm. you've lost it all. I think there are different visions of what totalitarianism is. It seems to me the progressives and the conservatives are both lined up against a strong state authoritarianism either way. Either that's I'm a, more, a socialized collective vision or a more kind of police. Well, either way. Yeah. Both seem to me to, uh, to be the authors of an increasing surveillance and police state. I don't agree with that. Have you, have you read much about the Articles of Confederation and... Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, definitely. I mean, there is a point in liberty that even, even the most libertarian or close to anarchist uh, yeah. member of our founders understood you have to have some some state power you have to have some power just to hold things together limited as limited as possible I like the argument 
I like the argument, and I'm partial to it, and I like the founders, you know, but I think, I never want to say this time it's different, that's a kind of progressive right. argument, you know, but... Um, Cody, I, <laughs> you are, a, I, I don't know if we are uh, friend or foe, Yeah. Um, I uh, appreciate the, uh, the debate, and I appreciate the idea that... Um, Man will be free. Man will be free. Because this is not going to stop. They could put you in jail and it wouldn't matter. This isn't going to stop. It's over. Yeah. Thank you. Back in a minute. We should find out if we're friendly folks.